So I'm going to give you a brief overview of the sweet boss feature in eight minutes and all of the sort of cool things you can do with it. Um, so I'm just going to start with a, an opening example. Um, so with the sweet boss, I'm just going to sketch on my top plane. And I'm just going to put a line in and this is going to be the path for the sweet boss. I'm just going to make a curved bit as well. So if we exit out that sketch <coughs> and we start a sketch on our front plane, I'm just going to put a circle. doesn't matter how big it is. So what you want to do is you want to take the circle, the center of it, and you want to make a pierce relation with the, with the origin here where your path starts. So if you hold control and you click that, it will give you um, your, uh, your relations manager. You can just make it coincident, it doesn't need to be pierced. Um, and you exit out the sketch and you go to your features tab <clears throat> select the sweep boss first it's going to ask you for your profile sketch which is the circle and then it will drop down automatically to the path and you select your path and it will just follow the path and you say yeah so that's just like a very very simple sweeping boss so um, to look at it in a little bit more detail I'm just going to switch over to this other file. So, um, looking at this sort of trophy thingy, um, you can see the sweet bosses. That was a sweet boss. That was originally a sweet boss, and then it was circular patterned. Um, so, if we just look down here at this first row, um, what I'm illustrating basically is that uh, a sweet boss is just a path and a profile so you can have whatever profile you like just as long as it's a closed path um, so it's not so it's not an open profile then uh, you'll be able to sweep it along a path so um, just like we saw in the previous example you just in your sweep manager you just select your profile and then you select your path and for all the other examples to the right exact same process just sketched out a different profile and the sort of second layer um, shows you a little bit more depth about what you can do in the suite manager um, to sort of mess with the results so uh, first we got a suite boss here which was a thin feature so all it is is a normal sweep boss as as you would the profile on the path but you select the thin feature which extrudes it as uh, a hollow object rather than a solid one so this has got a two mil wall thickness you can change that so one mil so it's slimmer another example just to the right here that shows uh, the twisting that you can do with the profile along the path so if you went to your same process profile path and in your options tab you can hear where it would normally be none you put specified twist value and it gives you a, a degree amount um, so you could say 20 and only twists a bit or you could say 40 and twist twist more um, and just to the right here, this is, um, yeah, this is going to show you uh, that that you can manipulate the path. So it's not just a not just a, a normal straight line like we've got in these other examples. In this case, we wanted to make it this curvy shape. So um, if I went into that, I could just show you. I can show you the profile and the path that it sweeps along um, and then this so that's the nice curvy path 
this this last one which is a combination of the all, all three so uh, thin features so it's hollow it twists along the path just like this one uh, and the path itself is nice and curvy um, so the next thing I'm just sort of illustrating here is that you can sweep a shape along you know a, a long line with lots of um, bends and curves and things like that um, and that, that sort of final part of sweep that's really important is you um, you can define guide curves which allow you to slightly change the form of the profile as it sweeps along the path um, so in this example we've got three sketches rather than two so your profile sketch your path sketch which you can see is straight but our guide curve here is actually what's giving it this curved profile um, so I'll just show you how that looks in the command manager so we've got the profile we've got the path and then under guide curves you select the tab and then you can just click on your sketch and it will pick that up so um, with this one something you've got to be aware of with guide curves is you can't actually choose two with other features sometimes you can but um, with this feature you can see we've got uh, we've got the profile we've got the path we've got the guide curve which this is followed but it won't allow me to select this guide curve as well so I'm just going to show you how that actually looks in the command manager so profile path guide curve there so if I take out the guide curve you can see that's what it looks like and it follows that one or you could choose that one you know, it look quite different but uh, you can't select two um, so the other final point about guide curves which is really important is um, if you give your profile sketch a dimension you give it a measurement so you're actually defining its size it doesn't the, the guide curve doesn't like that because it's sort of constrained to something um, concrete and if it's not got a dimension then it works just fine so I can sort of show you that in this case so if I take my profile sketch and it's got it, it, it knows that it's coincident here so it knows its position but it doesn't know its size so if I just hold it 23 mil which is what it is and I just say yes And you'll see it it's lost itself um, so it's broken that sweep yeah.